Hi, this is a video for Google Street View Trusted Photographers using the uh, Go Through Moderator. Now that the Google Moderator is retired, um, there's a few options available. Um, I've decided on this one. There's some other ones like Walk Into and uh, a couple others, but um, I found that Go Through seems to be the best to suit my needs. So that's at uh, gothrough.co, and you can just sign in with your Google account. So once you're signed in here, you have the dashboard. They'll give you two free constellations to do, and after that you sort of have to pay. So um, you'll have your account, my profile. Basically, this is somewhere where you may want to do what I'm doing, or if not, depends on how you want to set up your, your account here. I have two accounts. I have my personal email that's attached to this, which I have a Google Drive um, available on, and I also have my business email address. So when I'm going to publish, I'm probably going to publish to my business address. Um, this doesn't have all my points. If you're interested in those points with local guides, then you may just want to do on your personal one. Um, it doesn't really matter to me because that's not the primary goal of my <laughs> account here is to actually just create business tours for clients. So um, depending on how you feel, you may want to set up a separate account to add to this one that's a business, uh, more professional looking account than your personal one. So uh, under Constellations, I just finished a, uh, I just finished a tour for a client. Uh, so this is basically just a little overview of what you have here. You have a create a new tour button, create from a CID and the Street View app browser. Now I just created a new tour, so I'll go through the process here. I'll leave this one here since it's done. I'll create a new one and enter location. Uh, it's this one here. I've already cr created their business, uh, my business account, so they're fairly visible on on Google. So, I'm just going to create a new tour. So this is the area they're located in. I don't see their name but that's the dot that <laughs> they give me so you can upload panoramas here now you have a couple options for this you can upload from your computer or you can import from Google Drive which you've previously uploaded so just uploading from your computer you can just drag and drop them uh, that's what I did for the first one but I also have them available on Google Drive Okay, so create a folder called Go Through, then create a subfolder with the business name inside the Go Through folder. Upload the pre stitched panoramas into the business folder. So I will have to do a little bit of rearranging here because I have it called uh, Business View Photos, and they prefer for the app one called Go Through. So we'll just go back to My Drive and I'll create a new folder called go through, create, and then I'll go back to my business view photos and find the Juniper and I'm going to move it, move to, no, not business view photos, my drive, go through. Okay, move. All right, so that's been moved. So cancel here let's try this again let's refresh this there we go okay so it's found the juniper one that's the only one I have in there right now so we'll import those photos I'll just pause it while it does that because this can take a while. Okay, so they're uploaded. I can see my little dots here on my uh, moderator. So if we zoom in here, and there's a satellite view as well. I notice this building, I can't zoom in and it goes on an angle instead of uh, straight up. So <laughs> I'm just gonna give a rough estimate. It's actually, they're, they are located right here, so. Uh, yes, sorry. There we go. We go to moderate. Oh, 
Okay, so here in the main viewer, uh, we can click on a pano to see what it looks like. They're over here as well. So actually number one is the one that's outside the door. It should be outside the door. Let's see. Yeah, number one, just the one we want first. So that's outside the door and then lined up. So we, you can sort of rearrange these things, I believe. Uh, expand, that's what we want. There we go. So this is the tour here. So this is the first one. We can just spin this around. I'm going to just collect all these guys by doing sh by holding the shift key and selecting them all and bringing them forward. And just sort of separate them. We'll get a little closer. And just straighten them up. So that's one. It's facing in there. Then we'll just connect it to the second one, which is inside the door. So we'll go to there. If we look around, that's not quite facing straight out. So we'll just move that around so it faces there. And then we'll just connect it to number three here. Three, connect. And that's not quite facing the right way either. Okay, four. Just keep going along here. Just gonna spread some of these guys out. Kind of did a cross if I remember correctly. So four, just get straight in a straight line here. Just make sure that's good. Should be in, just in front of the fridge almost. Yeah. Okay, so this one goes to there. So we can continue. Let's see what five is here. Oh, it looks like there's two attached here. Let's. There's a few of them piled on each other. I thought I was missing some. So, four, what's six? Six is further along, I think. Yeah. And five is just before that one. So, six is further along. Seven is where? Yeah, it's just inside the bookshelf. Eight. A bit further along. And nine is Okay, that's a bit further along as well. So we'll just move these guys here. I think it goes like this. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I think 12 might be over here as well. Let's see 10. Just in front of the desks. And 12. Now this client just asked if not, don't worry about blurring the faces. So I'm not going to worry about blowing, blurring them. If it gets uh, rejected, that's, I'll just go back and blur them. That's not a big deal. Since it's a private enterprise and there's nobody on the streets, I don't think it should be a problem. I'm just going to connect all these it kind of is easier if you just do it 
one at a time connecting because you can see this one's fine actually this one is a bit wonky turn it around should be going forward yeah okay Back. That should be going to the back one back there. Just slightly off. So you just have to sort of keep playing around with these till you get exactly lined up. You can get even closer. Now the app doesn't get as accurate as this, so if they're fine for Google, then if it's off by a couple degrees, it's probably not going to matter too much. If it's off by 10 or 20 degrees, then you might have a problem. Okay. Let's see, it's supposed to be spinning around there. So that's backwards. Bring him back. And we're getting close to the end here. So 10 is one that goes here. You try to keep at right angles to things and makes your life a lot easier. When you're moderating. There we go. All right. So this tour is moderated. It's good to double check things and even triple check things. It, that seems slightly off, so there we go. This one seems really off. Now, does this have a lock on it? Yeah, it does. There we go. So it's a good idea to lock things before you send them off. See, that's completely backwards, this one. Should flip it all the way around. Now I should be going that direction, yes. That one goes in the bookshelf. So lock this one. You have to right click to lock them. A little off as well. Should be. I think this one I did go off on an angle a bit. So if I zoom out, I don't think they were this far apart. So I'm, I kind of think I just to get around that bookshelf. I did a bit of a da jog here. Okay. Yeah. So I don't move these guys. Just move him. Good. So lock all these up and we're done for the moderation. Okay. Here's reduce this. Save. I believe that's it. So just go back to your main one here. 
hosting, edit, publish to Google. Let's do a preview. Of what it will look like on Google. Note the door. Great. So this is ready to publish. Let's double check all these arrows. All right, excellent. So we're going to publish to Google. It's working properly and can publish the Go constellation to Google. Choose an account. So I'm going to choose it under my business one. Now I do do private ones just for fun. And I might put those under my, my regular personal account, but since I'm using this as a, a paid gig, <laughs> I'll use the business tour one. So there we go. So that's it, your tour will be published right away to Google, but take some time for the links to the panorams to show up. That's normal. So it's gonna look a little wonky for the first 24 hours to 48 hours. But after that, then it will be uh, on this company's So you can see it here. So there we go. That was a single one I uploaded as an example for them. But if you look down below here, all these are published now. And it's easy as that. Now there's no links yet, but like it says in about uh, 24 hours, the actual arrows will show up here on the floor. Um, all right, so I hope you found that helpful. So I do really suggest using go through and uh, even going GoPro, which I will be doing. So have fun moderating your tours, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a good day.